22nd of July, 2021. It's the day gaming changed forever. 20 duck-sized EOD bots, one horse-sized T91. Settle your battlefield debates on who wins what. What's up, my name is Squid G. Welcome to the video. We're talking about Battlefield Paul. I was fortunate enough, once again, don't know why, to get invited to view Battlefield Paul early and take a look at the trailer and all the information and mind blown, just blown. Like, firstly, I'm talking as a Battlefield fan, first and foremost, always a huge fan. It's the love of my life. That's not going to go down good. It's the love of my life when it comes to gaming. It is Battlefield. I am Battlefield. Secondly, for the Battlefield community, I couldn't be any more excited than I am right now. And thirdly, this is to you guys who support me, my community. We're going to be okay. What is Battlefield Portal? Let me set a picture. Imagine this. You're on a train or in an aeroplane. You're at work or you're at home. You're in the pool or you're hiking somewhere if you want to do that. I could do with some hiking. I need to lose some weight. You're thinking about Battlefield and you have an idea for a game mode. That would be really cool to play with my friends. I would love to do that. Shotguns versus snipers, which I have actually seen. Sniper only. One bang sniper shot. You can tell I love sniping in Battlefield. I know. EOD bots versus the Robo Dog from 2042. All these wacky ideas I'm sure a lot of us have thought up in the past are now a reality. You're probably thinking, oh, there's got to be a catch. How much that cost? No catch. By 2042. And the Battlefield Builder is free for everyone, no matter where you are. Like I said, you're on a train and you get this idea. You Check out your laptop. It's a web browser. You open the Battlefield Builder. You will need your EA account, whatever, to log in. And there is an extensive, and I mean extensive. I've seen it, and I was like this. Set of tools at your disposal. There will be guides on how to use it, and communities are going to be able to make their own game modes reality with a bunch of features like kicking people who are there to ruin fun. You know who I'm talking about. There's going to be 13 maps, some old classic maps alongside the maps which were announced for 2042, the seven base maps. Those are going to be playable as well within Battlefield Portal. We got Battle of the Bulge, we got Arica Harbor, Caspian Border, El Amanian, Valparaiso, and Nosha Canals. And if you didn't get that, that was El Amanian. El Amanian. There you go. Game modes Conquest, Rush, TDM. Any size you want, up to 128 players on current gen. You could, even if you want, have one poor soul, but he's got an OP sniper, which you've ranked up the damage and the headshot multipliers. One guy versus 127. If you want, you can even fight against the AI, and you can set that as a thing. If you've got a squad of four, you can go into a map, create whatever rules you want. And you can go against the AI just chilling out with some friends. Unlimited possibilities. As I said, Conquest, TDM, Rush. Yeah, Rush is back. The game modes are down to you. Totally customizable. Pitting different eras against each other. So you can have the Germans from 1942 against the Specialists from 2042. Small squad from 2042 are taking on 32 players from 1942. The future's got the hardware, but the past's got the numbers. Destroy those MCOMs. But do it before your tickets are up. You're not getting them back unless you clear the sector. You can do all different factions across the featured, and I say featured, Battlefield games in Battlefield Portal. So you have Battlefield 942, you have Bad Company 2, and you've got Battlefield 3, along with, of course, 2042. There is no BF5, BF4, BF1, or Hardline, although, never say never. What they're going to do is they're going to listen to the feedback, and maybe in the future that's something they can put in, because it would be cool to have all the Battlefield games. But right now, 942, Bad Company 2, and Battlefield 3, alongside 2042. I saw a Spitfire getting chased down 
by a BF3 jet. If I'm on that battlefield and I see that happening, I'm just like, who's going to win? We're going to get classic weapons from Battlefield. I actually saw the smiley face on the Bad Company 2 grenade. And I was smiling from ear to ear. You know what? People have been crying out for a Bad Company 3. We've almost got it if you think about it. Battlefield 942, there was no destruction. So we now have destruction within those maps. They've kind of like reimagined it, if you will. Kept everything the same, but oh, you can break that down. This is Battlefield. After all, things go bang and things go break. Go search other people's videos and, and watch them break it down. I'm like a kid at Christmas. I can't. Not professional enough. Just love Battlefield completely love the community love my community and what this means for us going forward and communities will rise up again from battlefield editing levels pushing them getting them featured on the front page of battlefield 2042 the possibilities are endless and you're only limited by your imagination and the fact that we haven't even seen hazard zone yet i was happy with the all-out warfare then they go and drop Battlefield Portal. If they're saving Hazard Zone, the best to last, then I don't think I can cope with that level of awesome. I can't get across how excited I am and also how huge this is for gaming. And don't forget about the open beta in September across all platforms. It's the US factions of Battlefield 3 and Bad Company 2. Facing off on Arica Harbor with 24 players and random loadouts. Die and you'll redeploy with an all new loadout. Track down that enemy VIP and make it count. We're making clear and under control. 